Hey everyone, welcome back to Talk X. We've got some shocking news today about counting on alum Jason Duggar. The 24-year-old, who's been in the spotlight lately after announcing his engagement to Maddie Grace, has now found himself in the middle of a legal controversy. So, what's going on with Jason? Let's dive into the details. Former Counting On star Jason Duggar has been making headlines following a recent YouTube video posted by a reality TV blogger. The 24-year-old recently garnered attention after announcing his engagement to Maddie Grace. While the couple has yet to provide further updates on their relationship, it seems Jason is focusing on increasing his income as they plan to settle down. However, reports suggest that Jason has faced legal trouble, including a lawsuit for fraud. Last month, Jason Duggar took to Instagram to announce his engagement to Maddie Grace. The Counting On alum proposed at a beach, seemingly the same spot where he first shared photos of the couple. The soon-to-be newlyweds revealed they plan to tie the knot in the spring of next year, though they haven't disclosed an exact date yet. Jason is currently the only Duggar with a wedding on the horizon but it appears he may have some serious challenges to overcome before his big day. Some Redditors reacted to a YouTube video of a reality TV blogger claiming that Jason Duggar was sued for fraud. According to the source, the Counting On alum has been working as a contractor with a fake license. It was also revealed that he's being sued by a man named Mark Thompson, who bought one of his flipped houses. Jason and the Duggar family have yet to address the issue. Meanwhile, many commenters are already calling out Jason for lying to people, all while trying to show off their strong devotion. One fan wrote, It's amazing to me how a family who presented themselves as God-fearing good people, although OFC we know they're anything but, have managed to have more criminal convictions and court cases than my family, who they'd consider godless heathens. Isn't he the one that just got engaged? I hope his brainless fiancé sees this and runs for the hills, but I'm not holding my breath. Another commenter said, It can all be found on the AR Court website. I'm too tired to link it. But he's being sued by someone who bought a house that he either built or flipped. And apparently Jason doesn't have a valid contractor's license. And didn't fix anything that needed to be fixed with the house. Oh holy cow, it looks like he gave a fake number for his license? Also, for a house selling at $350,000, a lot of these repairs were trivial. Like Jana could have knocked them out in a few weeks, grout, drywall patching, closet repair. If he subcontracted the roof, he still would have made decent money.